Hey everyone, it's Michelle Alexandria coming at you with a a look at LG's brand new lineup. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. I I know that you know you all know I'm an OLED fan, but I honestly plan on buying an LCD TV this year. <laughs> I'm doing a brand new LCD TV in August instead of an OLED. That's my next TV. However. First out of the gate for your CES 2019 news is LG and their new lineup of TVs is looking quite tasty. Um, so anyway, um, the new the new TVs are going to be appropriately and shockingly actually not named. They're going to have a they're going to have the LG Z9, which is going to be an 88 inch. 8K TV. Can you imagine the ridiculous price of that TV? They're also going to have the W9, which is their wallpaper TV, the E9, and the C9, and you know they're going to have a B9. And the the primary new features of these two of these TVs would be the brand new A9 Gen 2 processor chip. So the Gen A9 Gen 2 processor chip is supposed to actually help with bright help make the make OLEDs even brighter and it's going to have a new feature where it's going to get it's going to adjust its brightness to your room which is a feature I never like and I'm hoping that's something you could turn off it's also going to improve motion handling and some other things so I'm really curious about that new chip but the big 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 news is all LG TVs including the LCD panels are going to have HDMI 2.1 on chip um, out of the box, ready to go. Unlike Samsung, which it, which is charging fifteen thousand dollars for a TV that doesn't even have that it's going to that doesn't have HDMI two point one right away. Um, LG's lineup of TVs are going to have it, and what that means is if LG is going to do it, you know Sony's TVs this year are going to have HDMI two point one. Plus, they kind of have to since the new PlayStation Five is going to support. HDMI 2.1 next year, and you know Samsung will probably have HDMI 2.1. So I was wrong. I was I was completely wrong. HDMI 2.1 is a thing and is happening. I still haven't had anyone explain to me exactly what HDMI 2.1 does, why why it's so great. But for me, HDMI 2.1 is primarily for gamers. And if you're a gamer, I will I wouldn't buy HDMI 2.1 enabled TV this year because the only de device that supports it are PCs and um, PCs and the Xbox One X, and there are no games that are really taking full advantage of HDMI 2.1. So if I were you and you're a gamer, I would recommend just waiting until late next year to buy a TV because that's when the brand new. Uh, next gen consoles will be out. The Xbox Two, Scarlet, and the PlayStation Five will be out by the end of 2020. At which point, you will have a device that will be fully able to support HDMI 2.1 features. At right now, there's nothing available. And if you buy HDMI 2.1 TV, then you have to replace your Blu-ray player, your 4K Blu-ray player your video game system, and everything else to fully take advantage of the full bandwidth aspects that full bandwidth and frame rate aspects that HDMI 2.1 supports. So, yes, be excited that the technology is shocking me here right now because I was saying it probably won't be out until next year at the earliest, but it's here now, so I'm curious to see how much these TVs are going to cost. But not only that, but the brand new, uh, the brand LG's... LG's lineup is also going to include uh, a lot of gaming features um, that were in Samsung TVs last year. So it's actually going to have, let's scroll down here to the press release. It is actually going to have, I'm trying to find that in the press release. It's, oh, it's going to have uh, VRR, which is variable refresh rate, as well as an automatic low latency mode, which helps deliver a clean image without stutter or tearing. And what this all means is that the um that the TVs will probably have like 10 12 12 um 12, 12 milliseconds uh latency which is amazing for video games so here 
And let me just read this, and it says, uh, uh, and through the inclusion of HDMI 2.1 ports, all 2019 OLED TVs and select nano cell TVs with ThinkQ AI will support high frame rate. So it's going to support HFR. The result is smoother and cleaner motion at 120 frames per second for better rendering of fast action content, such as sports and action movies. Support for enhanced audio return channel. So it's going to support eARC. I'm not, a, I'm not quite sure how eARC is different from regular art, but it sounds great on paper. And it's going to have, um, and again, it's going to have VRR, which is variable, variable Variable refresh rate, as well as automatic low latency mode (ALLM), which helps deliver a clean image without stutter or tearing. How cool is that? Again, these are all amazing features for the new OLEDs that are coming out, and and it's great because it says these all of these features are coming to the LCD TVs, and I'm really hoping LG comes up with a great LCD TV. LCD TV this year. I mean, that would be amazing. I was so excited for the mega T mega LCD TV last year, and it ended up sucking. So I'm really hoping they they stop phoning it in and do a great job on the LCDs this this year. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and on what's happening at CES and LGs coming up coming out swinging. So let's see what happens next week. Talk to you guys later. Bye.